hello everybody welcome 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 again to another episode of the monetize you show this is gail turner brown <clears throat> your co-host actually your host and your co-host today um, of the monetize you show my illustrious co-host mr rl chance is halfway around the world in Ghana. He is on a mission to help those folks over in Ghana. So I am totally missing him and wishing him safe travels. He will return next week. So today you've got me. It is all me today. So I am welcoming everyone to the show. And um, I'm hoping everybody had, had an amazing, an amazing week. It's been, it's been, kind of fascinating and, and I want to I'm going to address a little bit of that but um but again I just want to welcome everyone um as for some of you who do not know um again my name is Gail Turner Brown we host the monetize you show every Tuesday at um 3 p.m eastern 2 p.m central this is the show where we share with you various ways to monetize you we have um, an amazing set of experts that we bring in who shares their expertise with you about how to take your skills, your hobbies, your talents, and turn them into cold, hard cash. And so that's what we do here. I'm a broadcast entrepreneur, a serial entrepreneur, and a marketing consultant and strategist. And we are here to help you. And to be of assistance to you in, in your business endeavors. So before we get our party really started, I always say at the beginning of every show, grab your pens, grab your papers, grab your recording devices or whatever you need to take notes. Um, because you may hear something that's really juicy today that you want to make sure to capture. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, and... Uh, you don't want to miss not nary bit of it. The other thing that we usually like to ask is, hey, look, share this out. If you can share this on your page, um, share it on on uh, on Periscope, share it all over. Anybody that, you know, I, I normally tease and say, if somebody owes you money and they can't figure out because they don't have it because they don't have any, then you need to direct them to this show. And say, look, instead of me giving you five dollars from the add-on to all the other money I sent you, check this show out because they're going to help you learn how to monetize you, what you already have in your head, in your heart, on your hard drive can be monetized. And so, um, with that being said, and and again, before I really, really get this party started, I wanted to, um, you know, I wanted to give a a shout out, so to speak, um, to those, you know, I think he's, I've heard people say this, to those who have been impacted by the events that took place um, yesterday in Las Vegas, mainly because I believe if you witnessed any of it, whether you were personally, directly affected or not, I think as a human, I'm sure you were impacted. So I am, I am, you know, saying that my thoughts and blessings and I give total love and light out into the universe into the world and around, hugs and around the country um, I, I've been watching like a lot of us have been with a lot of the other you know the news and the, the shows that have taken place and it does leave your brain reeling you cannot figure out how in the world does this keep happening over and over and over and over again and I know because it just is the way that it is, there is a solution to every challenge. That's what most entrepreneurs know. That's one of the reasons why a lot of people become entrepreneurs because they see a problem and they set out to go out and figure out how best to fix it. So I know that this is a fixable problem. The challenge is, do we as a country have the wherewithal to set about the hard work of fixing it? literally lives are at stake. And so if that matters, <clears throat> then you will get involved and find ways to help fix it. There um, are, there is also a GoFundMe page that has been launched 
to help the victims that were directly impacted, whether it helped with their medical and their, because a lot of them obviously are still in the hospital. And so they're all over 527 people who were injured. So to help that or to help with the, the funeral services of those who lost their lives. And so um, I, will, I will post that GoFundMe um, in our show notes for today. If you want to participate and donate that way, you can do that. I know there have been calls for, well, there were a lot of people who donated blood. Um, I do believe at this point, I think they said that they had enough, but you can check with your local Red Cross and they can direct you if you want to help in that way. And otherwise, the other way that I would say to help is to contact your public, your, your, your elected officials and say, we've got to find ways to help resolve or reduce this challenge, this problem, um, because it's just, it's, it's senseless in my view. And, um, and I know that there are ways that we can help. We can't eliminate it, but we can help reduce it. So I just wanted to, to um, put that out there. And again, to say my heart totally goes out to all of those, as well as we've got all of the hurricane victims that are still reeling from the devastation from Hurricane Maria, people in Puerto Rico, people in um, the U.S. Virgin Islands, they are U.S. citizens and they do still need help. So um, you want to make sure to keep them not only in your thoughts and prayers, because that's all fine, well and good, too. But whatever action you feel that you can take to help that effort as well, um, it is also still um, definitely needed and appreciated. So with that being said, <clears throat> today is going to be our show. So we are going to get ready. This is getting ready for the, all of our content to begin. So. Here's the, th here's the deal, uh, and I've got a, got a question. I, I decided to dedicate this particular show to my friends and colleagues who are involved with direct sales and network marketing um, because there are times that I believe that it is, it's, it's an enormous industry. It can have an enormous impact, and people can become extraordinarily successful in uh, using that endeavor. However there are those who are either still being taught the old method and or they're just not using some of the ways that we can use the current technology to really help accelerate their business success. So this is what I mean. You guys know the drill. You get involved with a direct sales or network marketing company. You are all excited and you are so pumped up and ready to make it happen and explode your business. And what you're told is you make a list of your 100, you know, 100 people that you know, and then you go down that list and you start contacting them, telling them how excited you are to be in, in a part of your business and you want to share all that there is to share. And what happens is you go out, you start calling people. Now, first of all, sometimes this is about third, fourth, fifth, seventh <laughs> venture that you've been a part of. So you get some of your friends that go, oh, God, what is this? Why is she calling me again? OK, that's one. Then you have those who who, you know, this may be your first time you've ever been a part of it. And it's like this feels weird to contact someone that I used to go to high school with 20 years ago and I start talking to them about a, this business venture that I'm a part of. It was like, you know, and so after a while it gets to be a turnoff or you have those people who, I mean, they, they it's like, Hey, how you doing? Hey, I'm, I've got this thing. It's the best thing ever. You need to go take a part of this. We are doing this much money and da, 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 da. And you can become a millionaire. And it's like, ah, overkill. Okay. It's just, it's too much. And then it doesn't take long for you to either get discouraged and stop or for those people that you have talked to to start running away. It's like, you know, it's like a vampire. It's like, oh my God, no, no, no. I don't want to have nothing to do with this. Don't call, don't call me. Don't text me. Don't Facebook me. Don't anything. I don't want to talk to you. And, and then you, and you can't figure out why. And so one of the things that I have learned that I absolutely positively know is this. Obviously, people want to do business with the, no, those they know, like, and trust. 
Okay, you've heard that a bazillion times. But you also want to grow your business and expand it outside of those people that you already know. So depending on who you are and, and where you are, especially if you have been working, you've been an employee for all, all this time. And now all of a sudden you decide that you want to go into a business. Well, oftentimes the people that you know are just like you. They've been working and that's all they've been doing. That's all they know how to do. And it definitely takes a mind shift to go from being an employee to being an entrepreneur or business owner. And so it's it can really become discouraging because you either have non-supportive friends and family or you have people who don't really want to have anything to do with what you're doing. They, they're just not there. So then you're saying, okay, so what do I do? How do I expand beyond my, my four corners of my neighborhood? And so one of the ways that I do know that is, that's beneficial is live streaming. What, what we're seeing right here. So you've got live streaming anyway. You've been watching live streams and some form of it for the last at least 10 years. Because I know you look at YouTube. You know, you're looking at YouTube. All, you've been watching that all the time. Well, now they have YouTube live. You've watched Periscopes. You watch all kinds of things through live streaming. What you may not realize is you can use this exact same tool in your own business. And what it can do, it helps to elevate you. So this is what I mean. When you are live streaming and you are just, you're, you're either sharing your product or maybe you are, are streaming something, um, an event that's taking place and people are watching that either through your Facebook page or maybe through your Instagram, then it, it becomes a whole different thing because you're not going out saying, come into my business or buy my stuff. You're saying, look, I'm having fun. I'm enjoying something. I'm learning about something. I'm meeting some phenomenal people. And out of, out of natural curiosity, oftentimes the people who are watching are going are wanna, gonna to want to say, hey, I want some of what she's got, you know? And so that, and that has now a whole different kind of meaning, okay? It changes the paradigm. You're not out chasing people who really don't want to be involved. People are now contacting you because they're watching and they're seeing what you're doing. And so I want to give just a few, um, a few ways that you can use live streaming in your business to help build and grow it. Test it out. You will be amazed at the difference that it makes once you begin to implement some of these strategies. And believe it or not, a number of your companies are using these strategies themselves on a corporate level. You know, I know there are a number of companies who they will stream your major event, you know, your convention or, or something like that. There are a number of your leaders who are on Instagram. You follow them on Instagram all the time. And so if that's what they're doing, then it's beneficial for you to do it too. Doesn't that make sense? So, so that's what we're looking at, okay? That's, that's how, how this is going to flow. So what I did, I, I came up with a number of ways for you to use this medium to begin to build your business and be able to do it in a fun way and something that's not really doesn't stress you out or make you feel like you are running and chasing after people constantly telling you. And a lot of times they don't even tell you, no, they just come up with some crazy reason why they don't want to talk to you. Um, so, and, and this is also helpful and I'll kind of get into that later. This is also really, really helpful for those people who live in colder climates and you going into winter and you know, yeah, and no, then you cannot get people to come out to a hotel meeting. They're not coming. Okay. They just not. They're going to find a reason not to, unless there's a really, really, really compelling reason for them to come. Otherwise, it's just you got to go through a whole lot more people in order to get the same result. Okay. So, so here's the thing if you do home presentations or you have a home party type of business, then stream that through, you can stream it through Facebook Live and you can stream it through Periscope. 
And depending on how many recording devices you have, you know, if you have your phone and a laptop, you can do both. So you can set it up, set up, set up everything, you know, click go live and have your party. Now people get to see you having fun. You know, you're, you're wrapping people or you're doing makeup or showing the cosmetics or doing hair. It's really great for the for jewelry. And, you know, people get to see that they get to see the jewelry. And if you're really smart, one of the things that you do when you have that, when you stream it, you literally can say, hey, if you really love this piece of jewelry and then you have it all set up where you can tell them, here is the website you can go to to go buy that. So you can literally be having have people not only who are purchasing at your party, but they're purchasing the people who are watching your show. Now give them an opportunity to purchase your product. Um, and so that makes that a lot of fun. You also can give them additional information of if they want to host a party. And look, you can even show them how to host a virtual party. So again, this is what I mean. You can have your guests, if they want to invite their friends and family over, they set up their, their house with whatever they need to set it up with, you know, depending on what kind of party you're, ha you're hosting. And then they bring you on through live stream. So, you know, you, they pull up their, you pull up the Periscope or you pull up your Facebook Live and they can now watch you present the business opportunity on behalf of the person who's, who's hosting it. So now you can have a literally have a virtual parties going on all over the place. And that's the other thing too. So imagine you ha you having several people in your business, they all have having parties and they pull up the Facebook page that you've set up. And now you are presenting for all of those various people. You can literally be in several homes at well, with one shot. That is, I mean, you talk about exponential, not only exponential growth, but that's a good way of leveraging you because you're only one person and you can only do so many, you know, per day. You know, it's just, it's really, really hard, you know, otherwise. So that's one way to do it. Stream your events, stream your home parties, let people see that you guys are having fun. You, they can see the presentation. And you can then invite them to either host a party, buy products, or contact you so that they can get even more information. Okay? So that's, that's one way. Here's another way. If you are, since you are building your business, obviously you've got people who ever sponsored you, or maybe you have people who are very successful in your business. Well, why don't you, once again, you can set up a live stream where you can interview them. So you, you take your you take your microphone maybe at an event that that you did maybe you invite them to your house and do an interview with them have them talk about their journey how they got started from and how they went from where they were to where they are ask them a series of questions but here's the thing now you are you're streaming this out you're getting those questions answered by someone who is very successful in your business and, and again, at the end of it, the call to action is, hey, if you want to know how to help make this happen for you, contact me at this number, at this website, at this email, so on and so forth. So now you've, you've done it. They've, you've given them some proof. And now, once again, you're not begging anybody. You're not pleading with anybody. You're just providing great information for them to consume. Does that make sense? Is that something you think you could do? I thought so because, yeah, it makes it really, really simple, really, really easy. So here's another one. If you are on Instagram, for instance, you can post like the before and after pictures. So once again, if you are in, let's say, the weight loss industry or maybe um, the, what is I want to call it, cosmetic or anti-aging, even in healthcare of some, some way. So you can post your before or a before and after and post those on Instagram. Throw in your hashtags, 
you know, letting people know, hey, this is what, and even if it was not you personally, let's say it was someone in your industry. So you say, you know, this is what they looked like before. This is what they look like after they, you know, that after they started taking our whiz bang, you know, weight loss program, so on and so forth. And again, after a while, they're going to be like, whoa, what did they do? Or what did you do? Tell me more. Okay. And now Instagram, they have Instagram stories. So you can go on and you can tell the little, um, use the Instagram stories, tell the story, tell the, the journey that you've gone through or that one of your other colleagues have gone through. And, and whether it's a product story or it's an, an income story. And here's the other thing that I've learned too. A lot of times it is not so much about, oh yeah, I made this bazillions of dollars, but it's more about, yeah, I haven't had to miss a child's, you know, recital or a sports game anymore. Or man, I finally have now have the opportunity to travel the world, you know, or I just came back from, you know, this, my fantasy vacation that I was able to do. Those are the kind of stories that people want to hear. You know, not necessarily the dollars and cents that you made or, or someone else made, but what did it do for you, for your lifestyle? That's what a lot of times what people want to see, because a lot of times people just want to know, yeah, I can get out of debt or I can pay for college for my for my child or I can now retire for real without having to be stressed out. And so those are the kinds of things that people want to know about. Those are the kinds of things that you can share with people, either through your personal experience or through the experience of others that have that are in your that are in your business. Um, and so so that's the other thing. Interview successful people that are in your. I'm sorry. That's number three. Number three is post your your um, uh Post your, your images and do Instagram live. You can do that. Um, and um, also you can use Snapchat. You know, you can do the same thing with using Snapchat. So post those and that grab that helps people to gravitate toward you, towards you. Always, always, always have in your information a call to action. Some place for them to connect with you. You know, I am you, DM you, whatever the case may be. That's make sure that no matter what platform you're using, that you have a way for people to use a call to action. Okay, now number four, <laughs> number four, host a weekly Facebook live. Okay, so here's the thing. If you if if people know and you let people know that you're going to be doing a Facebook live show, that you're hosting this show and let's say let's say it's on health on health and wellness. Okay. So let's say you're in a health and wellness industry. So you're going to go on now, not only are you going to, you know, maybe post some information about your product or your service, but do a show about health and wellness overall, you know, find some, talk about some really great ways to exercise. Talk about some really great um, ideas or strategies to, um, to make sure that you're not getting sore or hurt after doing an exercise? Or what do various vitamins and minerals, what are those nutrients, the components, and what do they do for the body? Um, post up how, how to help prevent getting having diabetes. What kind of really great um, food plans that people can use? Some terrific and, and nutritious recipes. Focus on things like that. Then talk a little about your whip, zing, bang, healthy, you know, nutritious um, uh, beverage or, or whatever it is that, that you are promoting. So the bottom line is when you host a show that you're going to be doing on a weekly basis, let's say, make the predominant amount of content something that people can use. Make it educational and, inform and informational. And if you can, make it entertaining, you know, if, if you possibly can. Do that too. So make the majority of your show that 
And then, so that's like 80% of your show, make that informative content that people can use and walk away and, and be have a great value. But then 20% of it is, hey, this is what I take. You know, this is what I've used to help, you know, help me lose weight or to help me have more energy. These are the, you know, th that's what you want to do. So use 20% to talk about your specific um, business or product that you are offering. And then again, at the, at the end, let them know, hey, if you want to have these kind of results, this is what you should do. And so, so you want to have that call to action. Another thing that you could do, which would be really great, you could literally create like a, a report, you know, so again, sticking with the health and wellness industry, you know, you can create, and there's tons of research out there. And I'm sure that your company will even have a certain amount of research too. And so you can literally put that together in the form of a special report and offer that as a free download. So just let people know, look, if you, you know, here's my report on how to reduce or prevent having, get it, having diabetes or prevent hypertension, or, you know, these are the top 10 um, ways that you can exercise and get it done, you know, in under 10 minutes, put a report together, offer it for free in exchange for them submitting your, their email at their name and email to you, then they can get the free download. And then that's something you can follow up with later. So you know for sure that that person will then will want a uh, for you to to know more about it because they've already let you know that because they've given you their their email address because they wanted to get your free report on how to do X Y Z. Does that make sense? So that's that's again another way that you can use live streaming, use use Facebook Live. Like I said there are plenty of them. Facebook Live. Periscope, YouTube Live, and then there are other, um, um, I'll say, offshoots, you know, of that. Like I said, you got Instagram Stories and Snapchat. Utilize those channels in order to get in front of a lot of people, leverage it, and then knowing that the people who connect with you are people who have seen your content, they like what you had to say, and now they're contacting you saying, give me more. Then you can go ahead and start that conversation. Have a separate, um, you know, you can have a, a separate, you know, if they uh, DM you, then you can have a conversation either on the phone. You can also do, you know, a one on one through Facebook Messenger or whatever, or whatever have you. Um, but then you just connect with them. You get them off that platform and into your own private ecosystem. And then you move forward from there. So, again, I hope that makes sense as well. So here's another one. A podcast. I'm going to tell you, podcasts are just enormous these days. People are just cranking podcasts out. And obviously, iTunes is the biggest place to, to go for people that they can listen to what you have to say. Once again, you can provide really great content. You can provide motivational content. You can provide information about your business. You can provide information about your industry. That, um, that you're in, you, and then you can, again, you can invite guests onto your podcast to hear that. And, and you're, in your case, your guest can either be a current customer who's having great results from whatever it is that you offer. It can be a teammate, someone who's recently joined your business and has had some level of success, or it can be someone in your success team who has been involved for a while and now, and they obviously they want you to succeed. So they can be on your podcast talking about how they built the business and why it's such an, a fantastic business to be a part of and, uh, and, and go from there. Podcasts are, are very simple to do. And so, and, and people are listening to them on their way to work. So it can, it doesn't have to be any longer than like 20 minutes. It can be 20, 30 minute podcasts, just long enough for people to drive to work. Now, I think that's about the average time that people have that they go to work. So that's what you can do. Um, and, and again, it makes it really fun, really simple, really easy. And once again, you give a call to action. Now, if you don't want to start your own podcast and you're like, I don't know about that. That's just kind of weird to me. 
guess what? There are tons and tons and tons of other podcasts out there who are looking for guests to come onto their show. So one of the ways that I would recommend is for you to start listening to podcasters and especially the ones that either maybe they're in your industry. Now, some of them may not be in your industry, but it's something you can still lend um, your expertise toward. So this is what I mean. You may be, I'm going to stick with health and wellness. You may be in the health and wellness industry, but you're building your business. And a podcaster may be looking for someone who is transitioning from being a, an employee to an entrepreneur. Or maybe they're looking for someone to give inspiration or, or motivational in, uh, um, information on their show. You can provide that. And so you go onto their show and even though you're, you're providing maybe your story of how, you know, you've gone from struggle, you've gotten off the struggle bus maybe, and now you're on your, your journey to paradise, let's say, they want to hear about that. That's where your focus is. And only at the end, well, when they say, hey, how do you, how do we contact you? Then give your contact information and then you can guide that person from there sharing with them what you're doing and how you were able to do what, what you did. So that is an enormous way to use the power of technology and other people's audiences to get into, um, in, to get into their audience space. And now you can, your, your own base will then grow exponentially. Because you've been invited, it's like you've been invited into somebody else's home to speak. They've already invited all the guests to the party. You're there, you get to speak, and now you get to look like the superstar. It's extremely powerful. And so um, for those of you who are just joining us, it's the 30 minute of the hour. Let me tell you, this is really weird for me. It's really weird for me. I totally miss my co-host. I really do. Normally, this is the Gail and Chan show, but today this is the Gail show. Um, so once again, for those people who may be just joining me now, or they will see us later on the replay, this is Gail Turner Brown. I am your co-host um, of the Monetize You show, where we are seen every Tuesday at 3 o'clock. Um, Eastern, 2 p.m. Central. And um, we are here sharing about, well, one, the Monetize You Show itself talks about how to take what you already know, what you already have, your skills, your talents, your expertise, and turn them into cold, hard cash. Um, and uh, so today's topic, we're talking about network marketing, MLM, um, what is it, referral marketing, residual marketing, Whatever else you want to call it, that's what we're talking about and how the use of live stream can be an enormously powerful tool in your tool chest to build and grow your business. I also, before I, I, I continue on, I want to give a shout out to my sponsor for today um, um, is the, the, uh, the video, the cell phone video store. You guys need to check it out because here's the thing. When you begin to podcast, when you begin to go um, live, okay, you want to make sure that you got the right equipment. You want to make sure that your face is lit. You want to make sure that, you know, you may need a tripod. You want to make sure that you definitely have a nice webcam um, that attaches to your, to your, webcam, to your laptop um, or to your desktop. And so the cell phone video store is where you can go and make that happen at an extraordinarily um, reasonable, reasonable, really reasonable um, cost or investment to you. So check out the cellphonestore.com. Go check that out and um, you will be glad you did. <laughs> so um, with that, um, so I've gone through like five ways so far that you can use live stream. Let me recap it real, really, really quick. So number one, stream your home parties. You can crank open Periscope. It's real easy. There's a Periscope icon. You just click Periscope, go live, set it up, and ta-da, you're there if you have never done it before. So stream your, par stream your home party, stream your home presentations. Number two, 
interview your your customers or your um, maybe your new sales reps, the people who have just come onto your business, and in in particular the people who are already in your business that are on your success team that um, that's more successful than you, who can talk about your business. Ask them a ton of questions as to how they got started, what did they do, how did they you know increase their business. And, and stream that. Do a Facebook Live. It is, again, it's easy. Facebook Live. You go on there, you click on the video icon and click go live and gadushkadurgan. There you go. It's right there. So that was number two. Number three, post before and after pictures on like Instagram. Go Instagram Live. Instagram Live also has stories. And so you can do the little short Instagram stories that um, helps to people understand, you know, what your journey is, what your journey was, where you came from, where you are now. Um, always make sure to have a call to action. Let people know this is how to contact you. Um, host a weekly Facebook Live. Host a show that teaches something. Whether you, you may want to, this will be really great. You may want to do a cooking show. You could, well, this is all on one. You could be all on one show. Let's, again, I'm, we're kind of sticking with the with the um, health and wellness industry since that's a huge industry. But you can, do, uh, you can do a cooking show, show people how to make really great meals. You can do an exercise show. Um, you can um, also do a um, information or maybe the nutritional ingredients that's in some of your products and why it's beneficial. Um, it would be really great if you could have a, a, um, a medical profession, medical professional on your show that can talk about the benefits of good nutrition and good health and the different things that one should do and how to prevent high blood pressure and make and, and obesity and various medical issues that people may be having right now that your program helps will help them with. But why overall, they could literally walk away, even if they did not join your business, you could have provided them with really good value. And usually, as long as you've provided them with great value, then guess what? They normally will want to come back because they want to see, well, what else you got? Okay. So that's what that's how that goes. Um, the next one is you can start a podcast. Now, most of you know, most podcasts, my time people know podcasts um, cut through iTunes. But, you know, you've got SoundCloud and you've got several other other um, ways that people listen to to audio only media. One of the ones that I'm really enjoying right now is Anchor. Anchor, you can create a podcast through Anchor. Anchor is are like five minute clips um, of audio. It's really, really great for a really short burst of information, but it's also a community. It's a social community. And so that's something you may want to check out too. It's anchor.fm. Um, so you can check that out, but you can use that as well. But you want to create a podcast, again, given the same kind of information, but now people can listen to it. You can interview other people. You can just provide great informative information about your industry and, and things all around your industry, whether you're looking at developing customers or you're looking at developing business partners, um, either one, you can provide the kind of information that they want to consume while they are on their way to work and make sure to give a really good call to action for that. Um, the other thing is, if you don't want to create a podcast, there are podcasters out there, believe me, who are looking for you because you've got good content. You've got good information that their clients want to have. And so as a result, um, because your clients want to have it, they are looking for you and they want you to come onto their show. So you can start listening to podcasts, especially those who do interviews. And then reach out to those podcasters and let them know that you're available. You want to be able to share your expertise with their audience. That is a really great way to, to get into their audience. And so now that eliminates the, I don't know anybody, okay? You now have an audience that's listening. And the reason they're listening is because they've already developed a relationship with the podcaster. So you're going to pay attention. Um, they're going to pay attention to what you're saying. 
So you've broken down a barrier already. And when you go on and you really bring it, then they're going to want to know who you are and what you what you're doing and how they can reach you. So once again, have a really good call to action and um, then you get them offline and you go from there. Now, here's a, here's another way, which I think is kind of cool. On, on Instagram, if you're on Instagram, there are people with literally hundreds of thousands of followers. And what they'll do if you pay them, <laughs> they will give you a shout out. So if you connect with some Instagram um, influencers and they're, you know, and it's not, it's very nominal what you pay anywhere, like maybe $20, $30, $50 for them to do a shout out about you and or your business. Now, once again, they've got all of these people who are on their page already. They already trust them. And so when you give a shout out, I mean, when they give a shout out to you or about your company, their audience is listening. So once again, as long as you have a great way for the, once they give that shout out for them to connect with you, you know, you're, you're good. People have built enormous businesses just because someone else it's like someone else endorsing you, someone else saying, hey, I trust this person enough that you should at least go check them out. And so when you have people who have that kind of influence, usually when they say go check it out, and definitely a number of their audience members are going to go and check it out. So that's something that you can do. So like I said, normally it's going to cost, but that's okay because that is a part of business. You're just doing business. It's just a part of advertising. And that's definitely a way that you can that you can use that. Um, and then last I'll go over is the same thing, except for what was um, again with broadcasters and live streamers. You can be a sponsor, a guest sponsor or get or featured guest onto live streams and um, and podcasts. So normally live streams are like this. You're watching a live stream now. And, and um, usually the bulk of our shows, we host, we have people who come on and we interview them about their particular area of expertise. Well, you can sponsor that show. You can sponsor a, you can sponsor a segment or you can sponsor an entire show. And when you do that, once again, it elevates you and your company. There are ways that you can either um, you can either just have your logo or your product that is um, that's elevated. So that's there on the show. You can provide a script, let's say, for instance, of something in particular that you may want to have the host of the show say, especially if you're having like a special sale that's going on that's limited and you want to make sure that the host tells that to their audience. So you could do that. Or you could come on to the show and talk about your product or service. Have them interview you um, direct. But what happens as a featured sponsor that's being interviewed, you get a lot more special treatment. So what do I mean by that? Your extra special treatment becomes... Well, one, you're now if when you become a featured sponsor, you are now um, your information goes onto the show. It doesn't go away. Um, unlike, let's say, if you did a radio spot, you know, you have to every time they talk about it, you have to keep buying it, buying it, buying it. This way you're on and, and it's always on because when you're on video or when you're on a podcast, it's it lasts and it's being distributed through multiple channels. So when you go onto a broadcast and you are a featured guest uh, and, and you are a featured sponsored guest, now when they post that video on YouTube, when they post that video on their, on their Twitter channel or, or all the other various places, on their website, on their blog, you're there. So you're constantly in their space, wherever, wherever they are, you are which means there's more eyeballs have an opportunity to see what you're doing. The other thing is that host is now, um, they, 
they want to promote you. They want to do everything they can to help drive their audience members and drive traffic to your site or to whatever page that you have set up. They want you to succeed because the more you succeed, the more they succeed and vice versa. They're growing their show. So they're doing all kinds of marketing and promoting the show itself. So the more they expand, maybe they're doing Facebook ads, maybe they're doing Twitter ads, whatever they are doing to help market and grow their audience. When you become a featured um, sponsor, you, you have the benefit of what they are doing. And so uh, once again, it's a major way for you to, for you to continue to get your message out into the the sphere, <laughs> whether it be on Periscope or, or wherever, if you want to continue to get that out, then being a featured, um, a featured sponsored guest is a really great way to go and make that happen. So those are my, um, I think I got, what is this? Six. I don't know why I, I lost him. Um, you know, at least six or seven ways to use live streaming to grow your business. It does work. I've watched it work for so many people because you literally can become a live stream superstar just because you began to implement some of these live stream strategies. And, and you're now able to do it, like I said, without running after people, without bugging bugging people who really don't want what you have to offer. You, people are contacting you who want what you are, who, who like what you're saying and they want to help. They want to move forward with you. It, whether they just want to be a customer, maybe they just want to get information. They may not be ready right now, but at least they've contacted you. And then you can say, okay, let me know when, when you are ready. But they've contacted you. It's not the other way around. And again, because you are online, you will be surprised at the kind of people that, that are, will be watching you. They could be from Canada. They could be from Australia or New Zealand. You're not going to get that necessarily if you stay in your own sphere. And so this is, I, I cannot say enough about how these platforms can help you build your leads and extensively build your business and elevate you in the perceived idea of the person that's watching it, that you are the leader, you are the expert in your particular field of endeavor. So if that makes sense, then I would definitely jump on that. The last thing I will leave you with is, um, is this. As I mentioned, one of the ways is to be a featured sponsor guest, either be a guest on the show, or you can be a featured sponsor of the show where you may not be on, but your information is here. And so those are people that, um, that those kinds of, of people we are looking for because we do do interviews and, and we are building our business. So if that, if that is a way that makes sense to you, then I would definitely suggest you connect with me. Now, one of the things that I'm doing um, is it's great to be a guest, not only on our show, but on other shows. And, you know, I figured, let me put together information to show you how to best make that happen. And so, you know, you, there are ways to promote, you can get to get prepared to actually talk to other people about coming onto their show. And then we show you how you can profit from that. There are so many ways that you can take your one interview and repurpose it or just get it distributed out into the sphere that can talk totally change what happens. And so I am, uh, we are right now letting people know that we have a workshop that we will be hosting to show you how to best take advantage of being on other people's shows. So if you want information on that, one of the best ways to do it is to connect with me at Gail at getknownfaster.com. 
That's Gail, G-A-I-L, at getknownfaster.com. That will um, that will take you to my email and, and we can have that conversation um, because we are I've just began to let people know about it. And so you will be the first to know when we officially launch so that you can take advantage of the workshop. In addition to that, again, if you want to if you want to, to even think about being a guest sponsored um a featured sponsor for the show, then again, you can do the same thing. Go to gail at getknownfaster.com and put in the subject line sponsor, be a sponsor, and I can let you know how we can make that happen. Okay. So um, with that being said, man, I'm at almost at the top of the hour. This is just, you know, this is really great. I am so looking forward to my co-host being back uh, next week. Um, For those of you who have watched this, I appreciate it. I really appreciate you guys being here. Also, I always like to thank my my producer, um, who is the man behind the scenes that always helps to make all of this happen with the technology because I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not doing it. But Mr. Curtis L. Brooks from Curtis Media Production, he is behind the scenes making all of this happen. Okay. All of the stuff that you see, it's, it's it makes it all good. He definitely makes my life a lot easier. And so once again, um, even that, if you start, if you think that you may want to have your own show, then Curtis is someone that you need to know about. So once again, you can um, you can contact us, and I can give you the hookup. What about that? Okay. Um, and and also too, if you haven't done it already, go like our page, and um, so that way you can continue to get notified whenever we go live. You don't want to miss an episode. We've had some amazing guests and we will have more to come um, next week. I've got a young lady that's coming on. You're going to really, really like. Um, and uh, it's, I'm, I'm really looking forward to interviewing her. And so, um, and, and it's the, this is the, what do you call This is the, we're going into the home stretch of the year, guys. And this is the time for us to really crank it up. And so our goal is to bring to you as many ways and strategies that we can to help you build your business. And so, and to really make the last quarter of the year a very special one for you. So with that being said, I want to once again, thank you guys for being here. And I want to thank Mr. Curtis L. Brooks um, for hooking all of this up. Really, really appreciate that. And I look forward to seeing you guys next week. And as always, I always say, if you can imagine it, you can monetize it. So see you next week, everybody.